Hey guys and gals out there. Hey, if you own Italian Cypress in South Florida, you're in for a nightmare. Uh, it is one of the most difficult diseases to control on Cypress because it's a canker that grows in very humid areas. These plants like Cypress are Mediterranean plants or in, in the they grow well in arid uh, areas of the country where you have mainly acid soils. Uh, the humidity is very low. Here in South Florida, we get an excess of 60 to 80 inches of rain a year, 100% humidity, and it's pretty much in the high, low 70s, high 80s in the winter. Whereas in places like California, where you get 12 inches of rain a year, it's very arid, it's cool most of the year, this plant does very well. It does very terrible here in South Florida, and you literally have to spray it every single month for the rest of its life with a fungicide, and you have to rotate the fungicide. So you gotta carry two to three fungicides to be able to deal with this issue because you'll get resistance and you'll violate the law which by applying it every single month so you have to legally rotate the chemical and this is why it's so difficult to control this pest problem uh, in landscapes let me show you what a cypress looks like with the canker okay this is your italian cypress and this is the canker and i'm trying to get to it where the sun hits it so you can see it better but there's that yellowing that's the canker and the problem is it's never cured nobody you can't spray it once and get rid of the canker you have to continually fight it uh, because the way the pathogens are are they get active but they're always there and the thing is they either get active or they're not once you have the perfect condition the reason this happened to this cypress is because two weeks ago for 10 days from uh late uh april uh, let's see here, January, February, March, April, May, late May, and, and the first 10 days of June, it rained every single day where this property actually got flooded halfway up to the yard. It rained so much. We got as much as 10 inches of rain here in a day. And here's the problem. It's in the wrong place. Cypress needs to be in full sun, completely in full sun. It cannot be up against the house. This is the wrong location to put this. You put it up against the house, what will happen is the back of this will start to die out and you will have serious problems. Second, you have a roof line. If this roof line was pitching this way with the water falling on it all the time, you would never control the canker because you're fighting a battle you can't win. You would have to spray this thing like every week in order to keep it. So putting it in the right place, if you're gonna have it, put it in the middle of the yard where it gets sun the entire day and it dries out and water doesn't fall on it and humidity doesn't accumulate and it doesn't get any shade. That is the secret to trying to keep the best cypress that you can. Hey guys, hope this video has been helpful. Do me a favor, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends to help them have the most beautiful garden. Plus, if you got any questions, go to our blog. There's a link below to our blog, and all the products are there that we use. We show you how to do it yourself. If not, just give us a call, and we'll be glad to go ahead and service you. Thank you. Have a great day.